Good evening and welcome back to Cleveland, Mississippi. That's where all the remaining Delta State football games will take place this season. And it kicks off with a big one against number three ranked North Alabama. Now, if you remember correctly, the only loss for North Alabama last season in the regular season came to this Delta State squad. Now, Delta State, if they were able to reciprocate that again this season, it will mean a share of the lead for the conference race going into the final weeks of November. Now, in order to do that, they're going to have to contain the dynamic quarterback for North Alabama, Luke Wingo. Now, Delta State has had a success this season containing option quarterbacks. it will be another one here this week. Now, offensively, Delta State's got to get it going. They did it a little bit last week against West Alabama, but they'll need it even more this week against one of the finest defenses in the country in North Alabama. Let's see how they fared in this week's matchup for the Statesmen. The Statesmen so far have not been able to get any pressure on Wingo. Thompson now to the left. Wingo will keep it. The ball is out, and the Statesmen have recovered. The ball is out, and Delta State has recovered the fumble. Ripped out and recovered. Recovered by 53, Randall Boyd. Ripped out by 31, Wilson Curtis. And the Statesmen have stopped a big UNA drive. Go, two-step drop, stands up, ball batted up, and it is intercepted. Picked off by the Statesmen in the middle of the field. Pass is picked off right in the middle by Delta State's number 36, Artavius Morgan. And the Statesmen have it inside of Lion territory, the second turnover forced by the Statesmen on UNA's second drive. He'll motion Hunt across the formation. Sullivan drops back, pump fakes, throws across the middle. The pass is caught by Ricky Hunt. There ought to be a flag on that one. Empty backfield. Sullivan's going to keep it himself off the right side. Runs right up the middle. Dies for it. He's down to the 11. The kick is up on the way, and the kick is good. Boyd Wingo drops back to pass. Throws across the middle. It's picked off. Picked off by Rory Island. And Island drops at the 47-yard line. I mean, football, sometimes it's all about momentum. And, and when they make a big play and then and our defense comes out and stones them, and we get our offense the ball back. I mean, we have the momentum, so it's we're just trying, you know, keep the momentum and, like I said, get our offense the ball back because they're pretty powerful, you know. Lions will bring the late blitz, picked up well by the Statesman. The pass caught across the middle by Osborne. He'll bring it to the outside to the 45 to the 50. Cuts back up at the 45 of UNA and is upended at the 44. Sullivan squats, throws across the middle. The pass is caught in stride by Bethley. Breaks the tackle at the 10. He's down to the 7. It'll be first and goal to go for the Statesman at the 7-yard line. First and goal to go for the Statesman. Handoff left side. Belair, touchdown! Dewan Belair off the left side from 7 yards out has given the Statesman the 9-0 lead on the Lions. Our coach always tells us that we have to be multi-dimensional if we want to win. If we want to win, that's what we have to do. We have to be multi-dimensional. We have to be able to run the ball and pass the ball when we want to. We have to be able to do all that. Three-man front for the Statesman. Wingo's going to keep it himself, and he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and drops him at the 42. There's going to be the 38, and the Statesman once again hammer down on the Lions. Like I say, man, we're a dog out there. You know, we want them stats. We want to compete with each other. We want to make each other better. But most importantly, we want to have fun. So that's all you're seeing out there, just guys out there having fun, swarming to the ball. He's leaving. Play action for Sullivan. Looks across the middle. The pass is caught by Justin. Breaks the tackle, and he's into Lion territory at the 45. Sullivan drops back, loads up, throws the out route. The pass is caught. Turning up field is Hunt. Hunt will be pulled out of bounds inside the 30 at the 26-yard line. Oh, Mr. Reliable, Ricky Hunt, makes the reception on fourth down. Sullivan and the Statesman will take the snap, handoff right side to Belair. He'll break a tackle, spins out of it, and he's down to the 21. Tyler will keep it himself, breaks to the outside, cuts back to the 10, breaks a tackle, he's down to the 7. Sullivan takes it, hands it off, McCadney straight ahead, touchdown! Eddie McCadney from one yard out, his ninth rushing touchdown of the season. 
and the Saints would have a 16 to nothing lead. Uh, I take a lot of pride in it, but as I as I'm gonna say, O line they take more pride in it than we do, cause like it's almost like they running the ball. Cause whenever we get in goal line, it's like let's let's run the ball, cause let's run the ball. Whenever you got an O line that come up to do do you like that, you it's gonna have a good game, cause you got great confidence in them, and they are gonna have great confidence in us to make plays and run behind them. Statesman showing pressure. Wingo's gonna throw it up. He's got a man wide open. That's Carpenter, and he is gone. Cedric Tillman will try to run him down from behind, and he will not be able to. That is a touchdown. 77 yards, Luke Wingo to Delvin Carpenter. you got to give their guys credit. I mean, they're down 17 to nothing, and they didn't flinch. They came out second play of the second half, throw a touchdown. We knew where our opposition was going, how they were going to come out. We knew they were going to come out hard. We knew they were undefeated. We knew they were a real good team, and that, that showed. Because we had them down 17-0, to they still they still play hard. They still try to come back. That lets you know that they're a real good team. We, we always going to fight no matter what. No matter what our opposition does against us, no matter what the odds, if the odds are stacked against us, we're going to do whatever we have to do to be successful. It kind of it did offend me. I said something on the field. I said, uh, I said they're really going to go for it. And everybody kind of was like, yeah, they're really going to go for it. We talk about it all the time. Like, we, we love when our back's against the wall. You know, we love that pressure. Like, it's, it's almost like, it's not like we want the offense to turn the ball over and put us against it, but I mean, it doesn't bother us at all. You know, Coach Anthony and, and Coach Gothy always preaches, you know, this is what we live for, you know? So we love being in those kind of positions, backs against the wall, and, and we have to come up with the big stop, you know? That changed the whole com complexity of the game. That just changed it all. I mean, that was a huge stop. Fourth and two inches, and we stop them, man, that was big. Now, I'm so happy on the inside right now. I can't wait to get back home to hug my mom, hug my dad, because it's, this is a first for me. Be back at home in my own backyard. Conference, future conference champ, but we take care of business the next two weeks. And the rest is, the rest is history. Just got to keep on going. Feels like uh, where we're supposed to be. Uh, you know, I mean, everybody says that, but that's, that was our plan when we, we got here. And then, uh, so far, so good. We'll keep keep going. We got to keep getting better in the next two weeks, and and then hopefully we can keep playing after that. It means a lot to us because this is right where we wanted to be. This is what we worked hard for in the spring. This is what we worked hard for in the summer. This is what we worked hard for during the fall camp, and everything. The stars is lining up for us right now. Uh, when we won in my freshman year, I mean, I, I contributed a little. I'd play, you know, two or three series. So winning the conference championship will be a lot sweeter as a senior. You know, really contributing and. Then, it was just it'll just be a lot awesome, more awesome to go out, you know, conference champions. It wasn't always pretty for Delta State, but they somehow managed to find a way to win, led by a powerful rushing attack and a phenomenal defensive effort. They come out on top against the University of North Alabama, 33 to 28. Now the win itself is the biggest in Coach Todd Cooley's tenure. The number three ranked North Alabama comes away with their first loss of the season and puts Delta State en route for their first conference title since 2011. Now they'll be back in action next week when they take on Concordia here at home for Senior Day.